I will say the one good thing about uh, having it take a little while to find a match, like, it says that the estimated wait is about a minute. I think that took about two minutes for me or something like that. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> it's the exact same map again. I mean, still, I enjoy it, but... This alone, I can almost guarantee that Halo Infinite, they run the servers the same sort of way as Splatoon where you only have like two maps in rotation or something like that and then in the next few hours then they swap them because like this happens to me all the time does I, I don't know like does this happen to you when you play Halo Infinite uh, I'm honestly curious because it happens to me a lot where it's just like oh this is the map of the hour I'm gonna be playing on the same map every single match oh I cannot wait oh boy it's like every single time pretty much but I mean, still, it's... I don't know if it's necessarily a good thing or a bad thing, because, still, some people really enjoy this platoon kind of way of doing things, where it's just, still, you only get an option of playing on a couple matches, but then you get really good at a couple maps? I don't know. It's... It's a thing, sort of. But... Yeah, it's... It's still, it's not exactly my favorite. <laughs> I'd, I'd much prefer having the whole idea of just like, hey, let's... Let's play on, like one match, and then we play the next map, and then we play the next map, and we just kind of go in rotation that way. Unless maybe I could just be really unlucky. Th that could also be the case. It's always a case. In in its own way. But, uh, yeah. I I'm trying to remember, like, what was my other uh, topic of discussion here? Because I was going to say about how, like, you know, it's still so just so hot in this room. <laughs> So it's just nice having my fan on and having a time that I can turn it off. Well, turn it on and off between uh, recording audio, because I'm pretty sure that it wouldn't sound the best. Holy crap! That's almost like a, a warthog- no, not warthog. It's almost like a scorpion cannon from how much, like, explosive destruction that causes there. Oh, I was gonna get that kill. Oh well. But, yeah, I was gonna say, too, of, like, how do you keep cool in the summer? Because it's just, like, yeah, that's, that's always the problem, is just, like, uh, living in, in a building that has uh, water heating. So, I mean, it's nice and warm in the winter, but it's also incredibly warm during the summer. It's just, no matter what, we have consistency. You know, we the coolest temperature I've ever seen it in my apartment is, like, 26 degrees Celsius. Imagine if that was actually Fahrenheit instead. It was only 26 degrees! Oh boy! That would actually be lovely sometimes. Some of those really, really hot summer days, and then you just go in and it's like a freezer, basically. Boom! Oh no. I'm going after the easy kill. Yeah. No! <laughs> the Spartan's a lie. The Spartan is a lie. I tried to punch him and he's... he's invincible. Not quite, but I mean... So I guess there are some people that are just a bit AFK, but... Yeah, still, it's, uh... Like, the one thing, because, I mean, I did live uh, where I currently am a couple different times. It's... <laughs> it is kind of strange, because, uh... So, the other time that I was in this, uh... Oh, yeah! This place, uh, the one real nice way of, like, keeping cool, I find, is, uh, what you do is you just, like, when you get really warm, which is most of the time, you just, like, walk to the bathroom and, uh, just put your hands underneath ice-cold water for, like, 30 seconds to a minute, and it just, like, it cools you down so nicely. If that doesn't work, the next option <laughs> is you essentially, then you take off your socks and you put uh, your feet in the sink. <laughs> I mean, you have to do one foot at a time. I don't know about you, but I, I don't think I'd be able to... Be, be able to balance with just my one foot up or something. I mean, with both feet up somehow. I don't I don't know. But still, it's... Uh, it does actually work pretty effectively. You know, you just... There's like scientific kind of studies and ideas that go along the lines of like, Hey, if you uh, cool off your hands it cools off the rest of your body for some reason. I guess it's because, like, all your blood has to go through there eventually anyway, or something along those lines. Power items have arrived. 
not entirely sure the all the full science of it because you know it's uh like biology is never something I've been very familiar with or great at I don't know I always was much better at chemistry and and physics yes come over here sir I dare ya oh here we go yeah you're dead <laughs> there's no way yeah, that guy was basically guaranteed to get me, but still. Oh, the power of... Needles. Oh, such lovely feeling pink misty needles. That's... That's gonna be the new uh, thing, too, is, uh... Instead of needles, it's meadles. So it's like... You get uh, a bunch of needles, you fill them with mead, <laughs> and you inject yourself with it? I don't know, that's, that's even worse. It's the worst way of consuming alcohol. It's injecting it into your veins, which actually that probably is one of the worst ways of doing it too. Like people do actually do some crazy stuff like that. It's just like, what, do you really want alcohol poisoning or what? Is it is that your goal in life to have some good old fashioned alcohol poisoning? It's not fun. There's, well, I'm just gonna say that to begin with. One of the reasons, well, I mean, that and also hangovers is the one reason I, I stopped having that alcohol stuff mostly, but, you know, mead is the one exception, though. <laughs> I don't know, I'd like to try it at some point. Holy crap! Holy crap! Seriously, what is that weapon, and why aren't I using it? And how do I use it? I'm gonna find that guy. I'm, I need to find him. I don't even care about killing him, I just, I just need to steal his weapon. Oh, man. This is a... A brand new experience oh, for me now. I, I need to... I have a goal. I have an objective. I have... Something that will be very fun. I think. If I can grab it, that is. But... Let's... Wait. What? Does that actually... It says scorpion tail? <laughs> like, is this literally a... Was was that part of the uh was that part of the campaign? Like, honest question, was that part of the campaign? Because that is absolutely incredible. Wow. Okay, that guy's kind of a jerk. You sir. Screw you. <laughs> Just gonna blind him for a little bit. Oh, is he gonna come up here? Oh, here comes the ghost. Oh, maybe not. Maybe yes. Maybe not. Oh boy. Okay, let's let's not go this way. Let's let's go back. Let's go back inside here. Let's have them uh, come to us. Cause that's always more fun. Anyway, I, I don't know. It's... But yeah, I think I'm just gonna stay inside this area. It's it's a little bit safer than. Or actually, I can protect him. Hmm. Oh. I wonder. Because still, this is... Ugh. Oh, I was really hoping. That's disappointing. Because, like, I was I was really hoping that, like, uh, one of those shroud screen things would actually, like, attach to a ghost. And that would be hilarious. Because then you're just, like, blind and... Not able to really see where you're going. But I honestly kind of wonder uh, where they get these kind of ideas for that uh, new uh, ability and equipment from. Because it really does remind me of Perfect Dark in a strange and obscure way. Because it's kind of like the N-Bomb. Or like N-Grenade. I think they they changed the name. Because it was originally called N-Bomb on N64. But since, you know, connotations and uh, ideas and... The way the world's changed, you don't really want to call anything an N bomb anymore, uh, even if it's still, it it's completely honest and like not really an issue, you know, if you really think about it. But people think about it, and then you're just like, ah, oh, maybe we should change it to N grenade. <laughs> but it, it's similar, at least in my opinion. But yeah, my team I think was very very overpowered in that one. Like, what what was going on with my team? Like, 100 to 55, and I barely even found anybody. I was alive for one, one of the most, 
in a way, but like, and I was a plus one, but with the two two .0 KDA, but like, wow. Yeah, I think my team was a little bit overpowered. I think I'm getting, uh, I've played enough of this today that I'm starting to play with the tryhards kind of thing. And not with the people that just go like, hey, let's play Halo Infinite just for the sake of playing Halo Infinite. You know, that that's kind of the way I, I feel things. Because all I ever want from a game is just mess around, have fun, get some pretty ridiculous kills here or there. But still, it's it's all about the entertainment value. And I... And I'm entertained in different ways than trying to be MLG, because... I don't know, like, I, I didn't really want to go into that conversation necessarily too much, but uh, the one thing I will say is still, like, that's... Potentially the downfall of at least, like, multiplayer gaming in general, t in my opinion, is just the whole integration of, like, Twitch and trying to be MLG and people trying to always be the best at things. Because it just, it still, it sucks all the fun out of it. You know? Like, it's different if you're doing a speedrun, because, I mean, you're, you're playing against yourself, essentially, and just doing personal bests. But, if you're just doing it on your own, it's just... I mean, if you're playing with other people and doing the same sort of idea, it's just, it's just not... It's just not nice. It's just not really that great for anybody involved. <laughs> I don't know. Still, just my personal opinion. Anyway. Capture enemy flags <laughs> to score. Guaranteed, Halo Infinite is Splatoon. Three. Or one? Let's actually, I mean, if we were going to actually compare the Halo series to the Splatoon series... I mean, I could probably... Oh, boy. I don't remember if I played much of the Splatoon 2 multiplayer, but there's already Splatoon 3 at this point. But, like... Halo Infinite... Oh, I don't know. Is there a bad Splatoon game? <laughs> Is one Splatoon game specifically worse than the rest? Splatoon 1 was a really good multiplayer experience, I gotta say. I enjoyed it. But... Yeah, this, this game, you only have two maps. There's five, but there's only been two that have been in rotation right now because they are uh, lazy on their uh, servers. That is the way it goes. I'm pretty sure. And I can almost... What? I can almost guarantee it. Because, I mean, still, if, if they are that bad in the way of, like, hey, we, we can't actually save any of your uh, replays because, you know... We don't have enough server space or something. I mean, still, that's, that's probably the case. But, if it is, either way, then... Uh, yes. Then it would still, it would make a lot of sense. Everything that I've I've thought of today, it's... It's true. It's all true. The Jedi, the, the Sith, everything. It's always happened. Okay, let's... Let's get over here. Gotta try to stop this flag from being captured here, but... That being said, it's probably not gonna happen. I'm at least gonna kill people that are trying to kill my teammates. But, like... Ugh! You can do it! <laughs> oh, that was good. That was, that was really good. I didn't even care if Mr. Dirty Dan Assassin... I think that would be a better name. <laughs> I don't know, Dirty Dan Sand is pretty cool, but... Either way, uh, he was my personal assassin. Um... It didn't matter if he was gonna kill me or not, because that was, that was incredible. Anytime you can, can destroy a banshee like that, while it's, you know, it's trying to kill you and then it flies by, you can just shoot him in the back. Ooh, so good. But yeah, this is definitely my least favorite map in all of Halo. Like, in all of Halo history. Enemy captured the flag. Well, <laughs> wow, the Halo community is really toxic. This guy's just like complaining about like, why didn't everybody go after a flag? Mer, 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 mer. It's just like, really? I mean, I tried. I tried. I don't think our team is good enough. Like, don't be a jerk about it, right? So, Toltec T Tigris? I mean, his, his name's basically, basically like Tigress, in a way, which is not correct, necessarily, because, I mean... But, I mean, that's the exact same thing as what I was saying earlier about, like, how the person had, a, like, a 
hey, this is my name, it has lady in the title. And it's just like, no, you're... You might not be. <laughs> There's a chance. Because that person says that he's a tigress. But, anyway. Still, it's... People that just, like, act like that are just... Shouldn't be part of Halo. <laughs> that was... That was a free amount of damage onto him. But yeah, I think it's probably best to protect our flag while... Yes! 1-1! One, one. So at least this is a better match than the last time. Oh no! I played on this. That was a good aim. He was about to kill me. Whew. But, yeah, it's... No, no. Why would you come back out there? <laughs> like, you see somebody with a turret that took you down for most of your health and you just think, you know what, I'm gonna go back out. I'm gonna just try to poke my head around a corner and uh, try to kill this guy. No, that's not a good idea. <laughs> oh boy. Still, it's nice playing with people like that though. It just gets my confidence up. It makes me feel nice and special in, inside. Oh well. But yeah, it's uh, still this is this is not my favorite map. <laughs> like, let's let's think of some really bad Halo maps right now. Um, because I'm trying to even remember like a bad one necessarily. Because like there's there's obviously some bad Halo maps throughout time. Because I mean, how many Halo games have there been so far? Like, if you really think about the numbers. There's still like Halo 1 through 3, ODST, which was Halo 3, Reach, all that kind of stuff, but like... I don't know, there was a pretty bad, there's some pretty bad maps in Halo 1, sort of. But like, they were still good bad, you know? Like, they were so bad that they were good. Like, like that one, uh... Oh nice, I actually got a Banshee Destruction from that. Like that one that was just like all teleporters like it is an objectively bad map but it was a, an objectively fun map yeah <laughs> you can say things that way I mean something is ever objective instead of subjective for something that specific like a map because I mean even then you know there are people that are saying like oh this is this is such a good map I love this map and it's just like no this is my least favorite so I don't know maybe like I was even thinking uh, Halo 2, there was still a couple, like, bad maps, too. I don't know why, like, the first map that I ever think of, just, like, the worst ones that come to mind is just, like, still, Wizard. <laughs> I don't know, it's still, it, it's a good map, but, like, I was never really a big fan of it. Still, it's, I think that's probably more the, along the lines of how things go. Is that, Oh man, it's, it's just more of, like, it's just your opinion. No! Yes! Screw you! <laughs> no flag stealing today. Oh man, look at that. He was spinning all kinds of directions. That was nice. Hey, 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 who's you? Who's you? <laughs> I just want to return the flag, that's all I care about. Get those delight, sweet and salty points. <laughs> I mean, it, it, that is probably a good description of it anyway. Uh, yeah, I might actually help this, uh, this guy here, but he is getting shot repeatedly, so even if I went into his turret, I'd probably die, so. How about instead? Oh no, try once more. Actually. <laughs> hey, I punched him to death by hit him in, hitting him in the foot. It's the most valiant death that anybody could ever have. It's like in Call of Duty when somebody gets stabbed in the foot. That's all you ever wanted in life was to... Whoops. I didn't mean that. I didn't mean it. This, though, I do mean. Aw, oh, come on, Banshee. I just wanted to play. And when I say play, I mean shoot about a hundred rounds into your uh, various parts of your... Your chassis, I guess. I don't know, you could probably still say chassis when it comes to something with a banshee. There's not really a whole lot to a banshee other than still, you just have like a, a piece that like covers your head and your, your body, and then you're just, your feet are exposed. 
I don't know. There's a lot of different versions of Banshees anyway. Now doop doop do. Enemy flags in allied hands. Nice. I'm gonna protect our flag at least for the next little while here. Yes. No! No! <laughs> it always happens right as soon as I put on my invisibility. Well, at least I know where to go, really. Oh wait, actually, now I know where I need to go. We need to escort this flag. If we get to two to one, we win, essentially. Because I think we could probably defend this with Mr. Scorpion. Oh no. My aim. No! <laughs> He'll stop if I put my body in front of him. That ghost would never run over a poor defenseless Spartan. Oh no, he definitely would. <laughs> it's kind of the way things go, you know. Um... Well, at least this is still has 100%. Nice. Cruise. Oh man. I wonder... I mean... This is just stereotyping right now, but I was thinking, like, what if he is, uh... He's Australian, because I was thinking he could be, like... It's the shortened verm of kangaroos. Also, wait a second. What? You can get up there? Or maybe this is just a new, like, heavies location or something. I've never seen that section... ...used before, so I, I kind of want to go over here. This is important. I'm just- I'm just doing some exploration. I don't even care about the objective at this point. I mean, I do, but, I mean... I need to see! Oh, that's all that's up here? Okay. Well, at least I have a good angle to just, like... ...shoot at uh, people that are coming to steal our flag. <laughs> nice. Nice. I can't believe how well that worked. I'm just a distraction, more than anything else. It doesn't even matter. Oh, no. Uh, there are just so many ghosts. Yeah, this isn't gonna work so well, but... You know what will work well? Aww. Well, at least I can do cartwheels in my death. Or, I guess it's more like somersaults. Aww. <laughs> Still, because, like, it's like you almost have a, uh, a bunch of wires on or something, and you just kind of are suspended. Oh, here we- Oh, boy, that wasn't- that was a mistake. That was- that was a total mistake. <laughs> Oops. Uh, doop doop doo. Oh no, somebody could almost grab the flag from that, so let's let's make it a little bit nicer than that. There we go. Because, like, what else do you use a transport hog for other than that? Let's be honest here. Because I know I don't use it for anything else. Oh no. Other than this guy here. Hey, Mr. Transport Hog! Um... <laughs> Ow. Still, I'm really happy that these, like, shroud screen things exist. Well, I didn't need to pluralize that, but, you know. Ow! Please, sir! It's that same guy again. I almost want to just hide in the tunnels and just wait for him, because I know he's going to be there. I know when and where he's going to be. It's like I was sitting there in, in time and... Plotted out his entire course of his life. Oh, I, I. Oh, okay. Well, you can have it then. I was gonna just get in the turret, but if you don't feel that's necessary, kind of wonder where that guy is that I accidentally betrayed. <laughs> that's that's a bit unfortunate. A bit unfortunate. Especially now that I have a banshee and he was clearly wanting one. Ah. <laughs> uh, I helped. I helped. <laughs> um. Yeah, I think we're pretty good. Actually, what if we, uh. Oh no. Yeah. 
There we go. That one's not getting up. Did you really think that that was going to save you? And kill me? <laughs> I Doom 3D. Is that the, the new Apple version of uh, Doom 3? Or uh, just Doom, Doom 3 in general? Which also, I wonder if they will... Oh, man. See, because, like, the original Doom 3 wasn't the best, right? But, like, it does hold some sort of nostalgic properties and merit to it in certain ways. But, like, I don't know. Um, oh, here's the, this is the guy, isn't he? I think this is the guy. Screw you, man. Screw you. Yeah, I know. Do you want to help? Yeah, let's let's team up on this guy. Let's tag team him. You go high, I go low. Punch him in the crotch. Show him who's really gonna. Ah. Uh... Oh no, this is the wrong guy anyway. It's it's not uh, something that matters. <laughs> OG Lobster Man. He's the gangsta version of lobsters. Oh, here we go. Oh, here he is. I was, I was wondering for a second there. But yeah, this is the best way of actually going if you uh, have... Hey, hey you sir. Oh, if he was going to keep doing that, I was going to run him over. It was going to be necessary, trust me. Yeah, and then he just runs away. Coward. Wait, what? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? I think there might have been a bit of lag involved with that one. I need to rewatch my uh, my footage. Because that was... That probably made me positive for the very final bit of the match just by... Like, shooting a couple rounds and it just triple kill. Man. Also, was that guy holding a flag in a really strange location, like he had like a, a halberd or a pike or something? It's perfect that we were playing CTF just for that reason alone, but... Yes. So many rewards. And they all are basically for nothing, because like... That's actually interesting. Oh, it's a weapon coating. I thought that that was just a Spartan armor coating. Because if you could actually just be straight up urban camo like that, or... I think that's like urban camo, yeah? I, I never remember the, the names anymore. It's been too long. But, that would be cool. But, nah, it's only just for weapons. Oh, so sad. <laughs> yeah, like that triple kill at the very end basically did... It made me go from plus one to plus four. Oh boy. That's so fancy. But yeah, at least I was... Clearly the top of my team, because I had two returns. Yeah, I actually had the most returns out of everybody. But yeah, I, I did pretty well in general. My plus four and plus this, the four assists equals a, a 5.3 KDA. This... What? Teabag in your old hag. So... I mean, th I think that means something a bit different than what you, you may be intending it to there, sir, but... Okay. <laughs> yeah. Either way, though, I, I think that I, I am getting matched against a little bit better players now, and it's getting to that point of the day where it's rather hot in this room, and uh, it's probably about time to wrap up things for at least one recording session. And uh, I still got to say that, like, as much as still Halo Infinite, there's, there's a lot of good, there's a lot of bad, but I've been enjoying it more lately than previously, just still, for the main reason that they added enough content now just to make it interesting. I'm really, really hoping that they continue to update this game and add more maps, add more just weapons and stuff, because even then, if you're playing on the same two maps for the couple hours that you're playing for, because, you know, Halo Infinite it's technically a Splatoon uh, game kind of thing, where you only have two maps in rotation, I'm, I'm pretty sure at this point. Even if you're doing that, you know, having new weapons and technology, it makes it more fun and making those two maps more replayable. So, I don't know, It's it's been a lot more enjoyable for me now than before, and 
hopefully I'll continue to play uh, Halo Infinite here and there, and uh, you can look forward to that. But uh, it's still mostly just going to be BTV stuff, because... I don't know, the people in, in 4v4 in this game get a little bit too... Uh, intense and stuff like that, because as I said before, it's... People take multiplayer games way too seriously nowadays, so... It's just kind of the way things go, but... Either way, I hope you enjoyed watching, and uh, still, feel free to give it a like if you did, uh, subscribe if you haven't already, and also consider even uh, clicking and ringing that little bell icon because it makes me feel good inside, and I mean, you get uh, notifications whenever I upload a new video, so it's always a nice thing, especially now that uh, I'm hopefully having a little bit more consistent videos too, so you can see if there's a video that you, you're really excited for, and it comes out five minutes ago, you know, kind of thing. It's, yeah, it's, it's just nice to know. Right? Right. Anyway, uh, that will be it for now, and I will see you next time for more random Halo stuff, including maybe even some old Halo multiplayer, and maybe even, well, I mean, for sure more of the Halo Infinite campaign. But yeah, goodbye for now.